Hi there, long time no video, uh, but as Notas ported Android over to the Pandora, I thought I'm gonna show you a few videos with that. It works pretty well. Um, this is the one gigahertz unit, the upcoming one, one of the prototypes. Um, and as you can see, the App Store actually works fine. So this is the Google X App Store where you can browse with categories, install games. And yeah, well, that works. And quite a few games work pretty well. Let's see some games, for example. Uh, one of the greatest indie games, that's Word of Goo. Okay, I was already playing, so let's retry that level. I hope you can actually hear the sound because uh, I don't have it connected. I only have uh, my microphone here. But you might be able to hear it trying to come nearer to the, to the speakers. Well, as you can see, World of Goo pretty much runs full speed here. Pretty neat game. Yeah. Ouch. Well, it's hard to play while you're doing a video, to be honest. Pretty hard. I remember playing that level on my PC and I was way, way better. Well, but as you can see, it works pretty well. Um, what's also neat is you can uh, use stuff like Opera here as web browser. And the awesome thing about here is that you cannot, uh, that you have a browser here, but you got the full Pandora keyboard. So you can actually just use the keyboard to type, which is very, very neat and way better than any Android phone I've, I've ever seen. So you got a full keyboard and you got a touch screen. And well, Opera's browser pretty fast and pretty well. You can zoom in, you can move around, you can zoom out. So well, yeah, it's a full thing. And you can see how fast and how well it runs. No big deal here. Okay, let's see some other things. Um, you can also use Tap Talk, for example. Um, I've bought that application and you can use it to uh, browse the Pandora boards. So if you're looking for a friendly way to browse the boards to see the latest stuff, yeah, they're discussing about Android in a PND here. And yeah, you can reply. And of course, when you reply, you can use the keyboard again which is very, very neat. So let's see for some other apps, for example, Google Maps. So of course I don't have GPS here, so you have to type where you want to uh, look. Um, let's for example see, oh, you see the game keyboard here. <laughs> let's for some other thing already prepared. You'll see later. Let's go for example, the street where I'm currently sitting, which is here. No, that's where I was. I was here in the Chef Project Street. This was the old address. The new one is actually here. So, of course, as it's the normal Google map, um, you can uh, switch to satellite view. Well, and as you can see, well, this is where I am right now here doing this video and well you can scroll around it's pretty fast so well that's how you can use Android on your Pandora so uh, some more things what else got we do we have here yeah for example Paggle some of you might know Paggle oh, it was a pretty nice game from PopCap a nice game to a uh, casual game to play on the go And of course, this one works as well, full speed. So let's play adventure mode. Okay, yeah, I know about the multi-ball that goes here. Well, got three balls, pretty awesome. Okay. 
Now for some very interesting thing, um, because you know we got these nice little D-pads and LNR buttons and gaming controls. First, uh, of course, you can... No, I didn't want to start Google Maps again. Um, there's an app called Game Keyboard. You already seen the overlay here. With Game Keyboard, you can map physical controls to uh, button presses on the, on the touch screen. So I've set it up, for example, with game Inocia 3, which is a role-play game. Takes a while to load for the first time. Okay, touch to start. Now later, continue. Oh, I didn't save, okay. I've got to start a new game. Just going to skip everything. Yeah, I'm a warrior. Yes, or a barbarian. Skip, skip. Well, the neat thing is, now we can see that I'm playing with the D-pad because with that gaming keyboard, you can map the controls onto the D-pad and the keys. So I didn't map all buttons yet properly, but as you can see, it pretty much works very well. So button press, okay, he only fights if there's a, an enemy or he can open a treasure chest. Oh, that was a trap, nice. So that's very, very neat. Much better than playing with those weird touchscreen stuff. Okay, here's another game. Um, which works pretty awesome with uh, uh, D-pad controls. See, now it's not yet mapped because that's... I need to run um, game keyboard first and show the game keyboard. Here you go. Now it's been granted super user permissions. That's what it needs to run. Now I can go back to the game And now touchscreen controls is enabled, so I can use the D-pad and play that game. That's a pretty much awesome app, that game keyboard. So uh, you can basically play most of the touchscreen games with your Pandora gaming controls, and that's neat. Okay, that was another game now, maybe for some Angry Birds. I don't know why everybody loves it, but well, if you want to play it, you can do so on the Pandora as well. Usual game. Well, you can also use, of course, the finger. The intro. Takes a while and you can skip it, which is a bit annoying, but... Yeah, I've seen it. Can I play now? Thank you. Okay. There you go. Ouch. Well, okay, as you can see, it works. So, you got a full Android. You can uh, synchronize your contacts if you want. I don't have a Google account, but you can do so. Um, or I don't have a synchronized account. You can use the App Store, you can use the keyboard um, to type on the web browser, you can use the D-pad controls to play games, even touchscreen games, and as you can see it runs pretty fast. Um, so besides having a Linux PC with very optimized perfect emulators like PlayStation and stuff like that, um, a fully open system pretty fast as you can see with an awesome battery time of 12 to 14 hours if you play or up to 150 hours if you just die in standby. I never shut my unit down, I just close the lid, take it away and that's it. Well, that's what you get if you get a Pandora. Well, most of you already have one who are watching this video probably. But that's just what I wanted to show you how well Android runs. See you soon.